everybody, this is Barbie with Bell's Palsy Talk Live. I hope you're having a great day. I'm just gonna be talking today with my friend Elizabeth Robinson. She has a Facebook group that she runs in Australia. Hi! Uh, How yep, are you was. today? Your hair looks fantastic. Thank you, yes. Well, I just um, had it cut the other day and uh, as we talked about, self-care is um, really important. And, uh, you know, nothing like a good, good haircut. Exactly. I've I've noticed my sister, but I've tried doing this, which uh, to when when I go out sort of to sort of hide that eye. Um, she always says to me, "You don't need to," but just knowing that I have that option. Of, yeah, sometimes you, know, you might want to for sure. Just, just having that option of you know being a bit mysterious. <laughs> yeah, it depends on the day, right? Exactly. Um, exactly. My friend that I grew up with, she had an ear like um, she was missing an ear. So it was kind of okay. holding in a little bit. Yeah, and she always wore her hair down. She's like, I just feel better that way. That's okay. Yeah. You feel better that yeah. way some days. That's what you do, right? So And and, and that's that's the bottom line, isn't it? It's about, you know, people I mean, I know we're jumping around, but you know, that whole thing of people saying, Well, I can't notice it and you you know, you look fine, etc. It's about how we feel. Mm -hmm. And so it's about doing what we feel that makes us feel better. Well, yeah. you know, you feel better, you live better, and you can be more present with every everybody else, too. Exactly. Um, so, Elizabeth, you have Ramsey Hunt, and yes. just a little bit about your story. I know we've chatted a little bit about it, but just people watching now and, and later watching the videos, just to kind of know uh, about your story. Sure. So, seven years ago, January uh, the 20th, I remember the date, 2015, uh, it was a really stressful day. I don't want to go into the reasons why, but, um, you know, I got this piercing earache and it just got worse and worse and a toothache mm -hmm. on, on, on the day. Uh, so, you know, no amount of painkillers would <clears throat> fix it. So I thought I'll, I'll go to the doctors in the evening and I uh, got an early evening appointment and he looked at my ears, lymph glands, nothing. I said, there's absolutely nothing. I said, well, you know, it's, it's excruciating. It's getting excruciating. Mm -hmm. uh, I said, do you think it could be connected to my tooth? Because, you know, could I have an abscess on my tooth or something like that? And I said, well, quite possibly that will connect to the ear because, as you know, it's also interconnected. Um, fast forwarding ahead, uh, my I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning, thirsty, went into the bathroom, went to sort of splash my face, same old story, water just ran down, turned on the light. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't move half my face. It was the left-hand side. Um, waited. I debated whether I should take myself off to hospital or not. But I, I sort of waited because I instinctively knew it wasn't a stroke. Um, mm -hmm. I've done my senior first aid. I knew, you know, all, all the signs. None of the signs were there for a stroke. Uh, and then in the morning went to, got an early morning appointment. They were fantastic with my dentist down the road they fitted me in um i did have some nerve damage interesting on my tooth um which i've since lost but he said it wasn't enough to cause the facial paralysis right it's um, just part of the package kind of i'm yeah, sure right? yeah, yeah yeah so he just said uh he was fantastic um i, I credit my dentist basically for saving me um wrote me a, a a letter and sent me to the hospital and said i want you to uh, triage to be fast forwarded um so he did all the right things i did all the right things but when i got to the hospital uh even though triage were fantastic yeah this is an emergency etc um uh the intern stuffed up my my um blood results she took them she took my blood test through cannula in my hand and um they just left me waiting and um then you know test me for stroke so well, it's not stroke you're gonna we're going to send you home um, fortunately, the, by the stage, my ear was bright red and it was excruciating. I was in yeah. agony. Uh, fortunately, the, the doctor on, on charge said, no, she's not going home and rang my dentist who said, no, this is, you know, what it is. Um, so they said, we think it's Bell's palsy. You've presented with Bell's palsy, but I was going, I, by the stage, of course, got old Dr. Google because I waited so long. <laughs> googling yeah what else are you supposed to do yeah. sitting in the hospital, no, um, right? you know we're all end up advocating and, and diagnosing ourselves and said 
no, no, this this is worse than Bell's palsy. I, and I knew because I was in so much pain and mm -hmm. I couldn't close my eyes. Yeah, because when I, I got when I got paralysis, I wasn't in pain at all. No. I had no pain. So Bell's palsy, just for people who are joining us or watching, mm. you typically don't have any pain. Like I didn't really mm. notice anything. Where Ramsey Hunt, very yes. painful. So that's and something just to keep your keep keep mm. aware of for for Very people so. as well as people that we care about yeah mm. because as i'm sure you know i mean the the bell's the misdiagnosis of bell's palsy is is the the misdiagnosis of people being diagnosed with bell's palsy and something else is absolutely right um because mm. it's not it's just not treated seriously enough um there tends to be this dismissive attitude by not by all doctors but by a lot of the medical pr profession it's just Bell's palsy. Right. You're not and, dying. You know, and or... I mean, like, seriously, yeah. it's sort of like, I, I sort of wish they would call it by its medical term idiopathic facial paralysis because then it gives it a bit of gravitas that it deserves. Yeah. yeah. Um, because paralysis sort of like, you know, is like, ideal. You know, yeah. I got Bell's palsy. And then, of course, you get the whole, um, if you say to someone, I've got Bell's palsy, um, or people say to me, oh, do you have those palsy? And before you can answer, they launched into, the, you know, my uncle's random cousin, stranger's <laughs> friend's yeah. daughter, you know, yeah. they, had, they, they had those palsy and they got They're better. They're fine. You know? yeah. Yeah. yeah, they got better or, or you know, and then yeah. have you tried? You know, have you tried this, have you tried that? But yeah. anyway, so finally they did, uh, uh, Johnny, no, it is not curable at all. Well, Ramsey Hunt syndrome. Some people do recover. Um, it's the recovery is a lot less than for Bell's palsy. Yeah. Um, the statistics are eighty to eighty-five percent of people with Bell's palsy do um, recover completely, um, and then you get the ten to fifteen percent that either don't recover completely or have some um, residue. Um, uh, when I say residue, some residual um, mm -hmm. paralysis. Uh, sounded awful. Some residue. Um, our, our synchronesis, you know, with the eye, etc. Um, Ramsey Hunt, there's a lower, um, yeah, rate lower of, success yeah. rate, success, or yeah. whatever. Um, and then even people who do, um, like their face might go back, then there's still the pain because you guys yeah, get so, all the so like, you, you can be like pain with, and stuff, yeah, right? With, um, with neuralgia, um, and um, as we said the other day, unfortunately, I was at the time, um. I was five, six on the house Brackman scale, which is the scale they use to determine the facial paralysis. Oh, thank you, Johnny. <laughs> um, but um, uh, fortunately, I have a very good medical team, got straight onto neurologists, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Uh, he, was pretty, he was pretty blunt with me. He said, um, when I showed him a photo, I said, he, I said, am I ever going to smile like that again? And he said, no. Uh, and I did say at the time, watch me. <laughs> um, and uh, seven years on, uh, we're, still, we're still watching. But <laughs> but we've got a very good relationship and he's just been with me from the beginning. And, um, yeah, so I went home. They dismissed me from the hospital with a, a script. And then the nightmare began. And, and uh, it just keeps, it kept progressingly worse, right? So it, it, the pain got worse. Um, yeah, because Ramsey the, Hunt, I feel like, gets progressively worse, where Bell's palsy is just a couple days. You get to your worst state, I think, and then it kind of just stays that way. But who knows? Everyone's different. Who knows? Er, yeah, I was going to say, everyone's different. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I, well, yes, in the sense that at 4 o'clock in the morning, um, 4 a.m., um, by the time I was dismissed from the hospital 12 hours later, it was worse. Yeah. So in a sense, yes, it had got progressively worse. And when I got mm -hmm. home, the, the pain, the, the, the pain had intensified. Mm -hmm. um, and um, some shingles started to appear on my face, but fortunately the antiviral stopped that in its, in its tracks. Um, yeah. So, and I mean, I, look, I, I've made a lot of progress since then, I mean, we joked the other day, they said to me, you know, my neurologist and the ENT was like, you know, um, you're in the 95% of the top 5% of severe cases because I'm also deaf in my left ear. And um, and that's from Ramsey Hunt, right? That's that from you Ramsey got down. Down. The yeah. shingles, the sh it's shingles, which is a reactivation of the chickenpox virus, yeah. um, herpes zoster virus. 
um, people freak out when you say that because they go, oh, I haven't got herpes. Mm -hmm. You know, the body has, there are seven to eight herpes strains in the human body. Yeah, and it's um, pulsars. And so Everybody then, gets to some kind and, and then, yeah, people they're all react different. differently. They're all differently. And so herpes simplex, which is what causes cold sores, is thought to be the virus that causes um, Bell's palsy. Uh, they don't know, but that seems to be the theory uh, that that causes it. Uh, and again, a lot of us carry herpes simplex in our bodies without even knowing it. Yeah. People often say, yeah. I've never had a cold sore. Well, yeah. you can still carry the herpes simplex yeah. virus mm -hmm. and never have a cold sore. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, it's like and never get Bell's palsy and never get Ramsey Hunt. Like that's the thing that's exactly. so fascinating to me that I've talked about before is, okay, well, I can have the same virus in my body as the person sitting next to me on the bus. Mm -hmm. Why do I get Bell's palsy and they don't? So to it's... me, there's such a metaphysical reason why people mm -hmm. with facial paralysis, where your mouth is literally paralyzed, mm -hmm. that you are not using your voice and you're not speaking up and you feel paralyzed and you're doing everything for everybody else. Um, and I'll say without exception, everybody that I've spoken to with it resonates with that. Yeah. We are here to encourage ourselves to, or encourage each other to stand up for ourselves and not in a like mm, kind of way, but it's like, if I have an opinion or somebody is talking down to me or making me feel small, mm. you got to be like, Hey, you know what? No, I, I'm not okay with that. And you, you, for you a have long time, to... I didn't. Yeah, we uh, fortunately and unfortunately, unfortunately and fortunately, um, we learn to become our own our own advocate. Yep, Johnny, you got to embrace it. So, yeah, um, you, you do learn to become your own advocate. Um, and I suppose jumping forward, that's what let me led me to starting my support group. Mm -hmm. um, that for two years, I mean, I just felt absolutely lost. Um, you know, I was going to you know, different doctors, different teams, um, looking at ways uh, I could get better, um, even, you know, sort of even alternative ways. And I made the unfortunate mistake of trying to force my muscles to work, mm -hmm. doing what a lot of people do, Googling, Googling random exercises on YouTube. So I'm going to send out there, do not Don't Google do random exercises yeah. on YouTube <laughs> yeah. um, and try to force my muscles to work. Now, yeah. If I knew then what I know now, yeah. that was probably the worst thing. Yeah, I could do. <laughs> me because, too. Yeah. yeah, they they you know your facial facial nerves like to heal very gently. They like to feel, heal very slowly. They do not like to be forced to to repair. I always say to people, patience um, <laughs> and rest become your new best friend. And that is a lesson also without exception that everybody on here has said that that's the biggest lesson that we've, we've learned to not yeah. push because we're all like, Hey, you know what? Just give me the exercises. Tell me what to do. I'll do 10 a day. And the harder I do it, the faster it'll happen. And like, let's just go. And that's the lesson we have to learn. Like, Hey, you know what? You don't have control over this. No, just got to sit yeah, and no, understand that it's, it's, you it's, have no it's a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah. Um, you know, resting and, you know, we're not, we're not used to that, to, no. to slowing down and, and stopping and, um, you know, and, um, you know, you just, you just have to, you just yeah. have to, if you, if you want to get better. And the golden rule with facial physiotherapy is do not start any exercises, uh, until there is any movement. So, um, that they say once you get a bit of movement, then you can look at, gently doing mm -hmm. some exercises um but i mean i was fully i could not move at all i can now um a little bit more but um i would um i would go into the mirror and sort of, hey. yeah right, well, and make sure that you're getting exercises and just to go back to your point about the googling and the support groups mm. is lots of people have lots of ideas and they have tried different things and maybe they work for them but always trust your gut, make sure you do your own research. Uh, you know, for me, putting electricity in needles in my face, hard no. Like, it's just those kinds of things like, hey, 
we're when you're in that situation especially for the first six weeks eight weeks you're so desperate you'll try anything and we've all think, been through it and don't do it <laughs> yeah I think, I think, you know and, and it's true that is a bit of a key word uh, i mean i was desperate um and you know i was yeah i, I was desperate like a, a lot of people because you know, you've lost your your identity and your sense of self, and you know you, you you do have to do. And it's interesting, like we use the word, you know, our own research, but I I tend to say we need to read the research. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, because um, a lot of people say, well, I've done my research, and by that they mean they've read something random on um on on, on Facebook or that yeah. someone else has said, as you said, this has worked for me. And whilst that can be true, it can also be quite dangerous. And mm -hmm. that um, I think we spoke the other day uh, without uh, vilifying this person, but on another support group, it was a guy who had healed very well. And I put it down to that he'd been put into hospital straight away with IV um, uh, steroids and antivirals, which is actually the correct protocol that I don't know it, hospitals just don't seem to be following it especially right. with Ramsey-Hunt syndrome because of the quicker yeah. you can get the <clears throat> the steroids and the antivirals into you the better just excuse me I'm, oh, I'm yeah, no that's okay I know it gets kind of tough much. when you're drinking a lot um but Johnny yeah in the UK we you know there is the there is not a lot of aftercare apparently I've been hearing from people the thing that's really cool that I'm finding and a blessing from COVID is that so many specialists are doing appointments virtually. Like I see yes. Jody from the Center for Facial Recovery. We go on mm. Zoom mm. and yeah, maybe it's 95% of the visit I would get if I was face to face, but I'll tell you, it's 95% better than nothing. So well, that is, that's the really cool thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in Australia, we're, we're very fortunate. Um, who I see and who's part of my, my advocacy in, in Australia, that the, the facial physio, um, she, she does Zooms and telehealth. And the thing is with um, neuro, facial neuromuscular retraining, facial physio, um, is that you can do it over Zoom because mm -hmm. the face doesn't need to be touched. Um, mm -hmm. So you, they can show you how to do the exercise yeah. over there. And, and again, you know, you've got to go to someone who's, who's trained and knows what they're yep. doing because unfortunately, um, you know, I read too often people, they go to a physiotherapist and mm -hmm. neuromuscular facial retraining, facial physio is very, very specialized yes. field. Yeah, different, yeah. Um, and they, um, uh, you know, I was reading someone the other day, they said that the tense machine electrical stimulation, which is an absolute no-no because <laughs> the studies have shown that um, it, it can bring on synchronesis. Yeah. And those of us who've got synchronesis, where the nerves tend to rewire, so when we smile, our eyes close, when we eat, you know, we get the crocodile mm -hmm. tears, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, that electrical stimulation will bring on syn synchronesis. Mm -hmm. And for me, synchronesis is actually worse than just the paralysis. Um, well, yeah, because you because have, you're not obviously. because when you're fully paralysed, like wasn't moving. But when you're at synchronesis, you start getting the twitching, the spasm, mm -hmm. the pulling, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, and so. that's you know, and the electrical stimulation, you know, people it does make the nerves grow back faster. But that's what the problem is, is yeah. that they grow fast. Well, it stimulates the, the nerves, wrong and they go, spot. oh, oh, hang on, where will I go? Mm -hmm. Where will I go? And they, they yeah. start going in different directions. So, yeah, so you know, so, it, it's, so, yeah. CP Forever, who's on here, it's really sad how little they seem to know. Yes, but I'm really excited because um, I'm working with Cheryl um, from Beyond Bell's Palsy, and her and I are working on a virtual summit uh, in the fall. And what the goal is, is to get the information into the hands of the first responders. So that means when you get to the hospital, the nurses there and the doctors will have the information like here is the paper because the, the situation is like you're saying um elizabeth is the first whatever they say 72 hours or whatever is key mm. and so really all we need to do is get 
are health practitioners around the whole world educated enough for the first 72 hours? Do that, then you can come to the Bell's Palsy Talk with Barbie or Elizabeth's Facebook page and be like, hey, you know, I have a couple weeks, like what's therapies out there? Who can I see on Zoom? But if we don't get that 72 hours in and get the right amount of medication, what happened with me is I did get steroids and I did get antivirals, but not enough. Mm. So that uh, also again, I mean, I, I was given the antivirals and steroids within 72 hours, um, but it didn't mm -hmm. help. So I mean, I mean it's not, not, there's the nothing that's a guarantee. Made. There's nothing that's a guarantee. No. Of course, no. there's no magic pill. We all know that. We've all looked for it. Every single one <laughs> here watching this video, we know we've looked for it. The magic pill, um, but you just have a better chance in if yeah. if you get what you need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think going back to the point that you were saying um, and that I'm noticing people making comments about there's, uh, you know, doctors don't know and things, that, that I think there are doctors and hospitals out there who do. Sure. Oh, um, absolutely. And, yeah. and, no, 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 and, and they're not and bad. The education is getting better. I better. mean, recently I was a young intern. I went to my doctor something else and the young um, med student, he graduated, he was um, there, and I sort of did a test on him and said, okay, if I present like this, what is it? Now, he straight away knew it was Ramsey Hunt syndrome, um, which right. is interesting, and um, uh, we've got um, some great uh, doctors and nurse, doctors and facial physios in Australia who are spreading the word, and, it, and I think we've got to remember that, for example, it's only been in the last... 10 years really there has been an awareness of uh, facial palsy and the psychological effect that it can have mm -hmm. so if we go back to like talking about support groups um i rely a lot on facial palsy uk which is perhaps the best not perhaps it is the best foundation um it's a charitable organization in the world. Yeah, because uh, UK, make... there's lots of awareness there. So that's why it doesn't yes. surprise me that people but, say there's not a lot of aftercare. Well, well, but yeah, um, it's, uh, it's, it's getting there. I think it's getting to recognize that with facial um, palsy, um, any type of facial palsy, um, because there are over 50 different causes of it, mm -hmm. that what often unites us is um is the psychological the mm -hmm. social and the emotional yeah. um that sense of loss of self yeah. uh, i know you spoke with Faye about that um and she's written articles on it and her book is coming out and that was what led me to start my support group because mm -hmm. when i went to i did go to a, a, a nerve clinic and i was just standing there and i said well wh where's the psychological support who do i see now like I, i'm feeling you know yeah. i've been told to see a psychologist so i'm feeling yeah. so lost I, you know, I don't like myself, I'm, mm. I, I don't want to go out, I'm suffering from anxiety, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and this um, medical person turned around and said, well, there isn't any. And I said, well, that's just not good enough. Mm. And she said, well, off you go. Um, you yeah, good to... luck. Have a nice yeah, day. Off you go. <laughs> and um, I, I, I look back now and I laugh. I, I love, I'm looking forward to the day where I do meet this person again. Um, the, the dismissive of off you go. And again, um, probably said it to the wrong person, a bit like with my... Um, I'm a very kind person, but I'm tough. And so it's a bit like, off you go. It's like, watch me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, I was in support groups and then people were saying to me, um, oh, you know, like there's nothing in Australia and you're, you know, you know, you're putting up good advice and everything like that. So I just took the leap of faith one weekend and um, started my support group. Uh, it's now grown. You're on it to over yeah, 950 course. people. And so what that support group hopefully is offering is that camaraderie of, you know, finding your tribe. And, I mean, I do put up medical information on it, but I put it up from a credible source mm -hmm. such as Facial Pause UK. Mm -hmm. or, um, and I put up a lot of the, uh, the Q&As from Dr. Aziz Day in America. Um, and even before I got to meet him, I started following him and his q and a's and going on and asking questions mm -hmm. and so um you know knowledge is empowering yeah and to so when we talk about doing our own research we do a lot of reading of 
you know, on Facial Cause UK, looking at, um, I've put up some videos, how the muscles work, what the muscles are responsible mm -hmm. for. Um, it's, it's very empowering. So then when you do go to a medical profession, mm -hmm. a professional, you can say, well, I feel that this is, mm -hmm. you, know, you, you can actually use the medical terms. I mean, like I- Because well, they're such tiny people. muscles yeah, that yes. they might think Probably it looks muscles. like right here, but it, you know it feels like right here and that's a completely different thing or whatever, yeah. like you're saying, because they're so tiny. Like all the muscles in your face are so tiny. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's why it's so frustrating. Like the physical therapy, I did it about, I want to say four or five years ago. So mm -hmm. it's been almost seven years for me. Uh, and uh 2015 same as you and i think about two or three years after i started physical therapy there's a lady here in north vancouver who's renowned she's amazing it was so frustrating for me i left every time in tears because sorry, oh, i wasn't oh. getting it right and i'm such a perfectionist and i just was like you know what fine i just i i'm just gonna deal with it because i couldn't handle that because mm. the muscles are so little mm. so now like I've been trying a little bit again, but at a certain point, you know, you and I talked about the other day at a certain point where you just need to decide to accept it. And oh, look, yeah, yeah. that doesn't mean that it doesn't suck and you can't be upset about it, no. but that's what I'm learning at the same time. You can be upset and accept at the same time. It is. And, and it, it is, a, a, I mean, I know you've had the doctor, I'm just trying to get rid of the, uh, can you see me? Because I've got a comment over my face. No, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, we can uh, we can see you. And then when it reposts, the oh, comments are okay. there. Uh, no, because it's just someone's, I don't know who it is, said that um, went to a learning experience in the UK. But I think the NHS needs more awareness. Um, I don't know who they are, but the NHS actually does have a lot of awareness because um, Facial Pause UK um, and Dr. Charles and Dooker, who founded Facial Pause UK, uh, do work closely with the NHS and I was involved um, oh, was it three years ago now um, the they um, there was there seemed to be a lot of people coming up with their own heart syndrome and the uh, WCO we, we, we speak a lot and um, she, she said oh she decided to do a survey a world survey and out of that came the um, patient self-help guide for Ramsey Hunt syndrome, which is up on their website. Um, I'm on page 11, I think. <laughs> page 11. Out. Yeah, page 11 of the, of the Ramsey Hunt uh, brochure, uh, international face model. Yeah, claim to fame. <laughs> That's it. That's all you got. You got your five minutes of fame. <laughs> oh, five minutes of fame. I was joking about it because no one wanted to give their photo, but I had some photos of me in hospital. So it was yeah. great to actually have on the brochure a photo of sure. someone yeah. as, it, as, as, as it happened. I mean, it's not the most yeah. flattering photo. Um, yeah. but Whatever. It's, it's, <laughs> you're in a but, Ramsey but I, Hunt book. Well, I I don't, have, you're not on the cover of Vogue. It's okay. No, no. <laughs> but, no but, I, but I have this attitude. I mean, people often say to me, oh, you're, you know, you, you don't mind being vulnerable. And I go, well, that's – I want to be vulnerable. I want to be open. I want to be authentic because yeah. that's the only way that you can actually – help people yeah. it's by telling your story and telling it all not you but one telling one story mm -hmm. and telling it authentically that it becomes that first aid kit for those people um coming through yeah. um which is which is what i wanted and to to so we're so around about the psychological support um and facial pause uk is really aware of that they're doing stuff um i'm trying to do stuff in australia um and you know that's 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 the advantage of support groups, not necessarily mine, but a lot of support groups is getting that psychological help. Yeah. Um, it's, it, you know, that we, oh, that's what we're talking about. We jumped around, um, was we're talking about, you, you've had a doctor on talking about grief. Um, and people aren't necessarily conscious themselves, but when you do get facial paralysis, facial palsy of any type, um, the Bell's palsy that doesn't resolve, Ramsey Hunt syndrome, an acoustic neuroma, surgery gone wrong, Lyme disease, um, mm -hmm. we we're born with it, the list goes on. More if it's acquired, then you you get a, a loss of self and identity and you grieve your smile. It does become a grieving process. Mm -hmm. So you go through all those stages that Elizabeth Kubler-Ross in her book on grief and grieving spoke about, and they're not linear. 
you know, that you can go from one yeah. to the other, just like in grief, you know, like there's mm -hmm. anger, there's denial, you know, there's bargaining. Uh, you, you, you go through those, those, those stages uh, and then you do, if you can reach that place of acceptance, it does bring a lot of peace yes. because I found I was incredibly angry and I would push people away. Um, and then the more I started to meet people and accept and the more my group evolved and talking to other people and, and found that acceptance by connecting with other people and yeah. helping. And as you say, and I wrote in one of my stories, um, acceptance doesn't mean you like it. Yeah, exactly. I do not like my face. Yeah. Yeah. I do not like, I hate my hearing loss. Yeah. I do not like that my once sparkling eye goes dead and closes all the time. Mm -hmm. I do not like that I have a weight in my eye to help mm -hmm. it close. I do not like that I slow my speech. Uh, I do not like the brain fog. I do not like the pain, especially the pain. I don't like yeah, going and getting that. Botox every three months. No. <laughs> um, yeah. But you know what? I've come to like who I am. And, and so we've even met though I don't along the way. like it, I've just accepted, well, I don't like the expression, but it is what it is. Um, and you do have a choice is you accept it and live with it and move forward and thrive, not just survive and enjoy your life. Um, or you can get stuck in that why me, pity me. And I mean, I've had pity parties. I call them pity parties. I've had those days where I, uh, less and less now, but at the beginning where I would crawl you know, be in the fetal position, sobbing my eyes out, why me, why me? Um, but then, as I always say, after a while, you get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, get, you get hungry, you get cold, you got to, oh, like, you know, I've uh, yeah. you know, got to get up and, and, and keep moving forward. And it, yeah. it isn't easy. It isn't easy. But we all have that, um, I, I, I sincerely believe that we all have that power within ourselves we've we've got to dig deep um so people people have said to me you need to dig deep and then i've gone well if i dig any deeper i'll be six foot under yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, i've got to tell that um, yeah. but you do you have to you, you have to it is that in a search of finding who you are and and you know and i, I think this may sound corny i don't like toxic toxic positivity but I think we do have that power within us to, to come out stronger and better than we even were in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And, and um, that's something that we spoke about the other day. And I've said a lot when I, when I was in America, I spoke on Awareness Day and here at our first Awareness Day. And... You know, we've talked about people talking about the magic wand, if there are a magic wand, et cetera, et cetera, and there isn't. And I was asked that the question, you know, if you had a magic wand, what would you want back? And I said, well, I'll smile. Yeah. You know, play the game. But, you know, as I've said to you, they said now if we had a magic wand, what would you wish for? Um, it would definitely be world peace. <laughs> and I mean that quite sincerely these days. Um but as I said in America once, I said, if I was asked that question again, and they said, well, we've got a magic wand, we're going to restore your smile. But in doing so, you can no longer associate with any of those people that you've met along the way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and seven years has been uh, an, an interesting journey. I was asked this question, I think, three years ago. But it was like, I have met some of the most amazing, inspirational, strong, vibrant, um, different people that, uh, that that they're my they're my friends you know these aren't just people that i've met on a um on a support group and a lot of them i have met in person um and um these are my friends for life and if they said to me well you're not going to be able to see them anymore but you're going to have your smile back i'm like mm, no yeah i'll, I'll say like, yeah. thanks very much because my life I know it sounds very corny and there might be people listening going, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Seriously, my life is the richer. My life is the richer yeah. and the better. And also, it's, it's like a filter. You soon learn who, um, who your real friends are. Yeah, you do. And the people that you hang out with are how you um, model yourself. 
Aww. And I know that we could talk on forever, but we've been on for 35 minutes, if you can believe oh, it. Oh so uh, Elizabeth and I can chat, chat, chat. We are besties. And like you said, I have met so many amazing people, yourself included. And like you said, we need to stick together. How we surround ourselves and those um, people's energies that we choose to absorb is what makes us grow. Yeah. And you gotta find, you gotta find your tribe. You gotta I find feel blessed to mm -hmm. have met each and every one of the people that I meet here. I get so much support. So me putting the group together is is really rewarding for me too. I get so, get so much out of it, and I know that you do for your group too. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for for coming on today. We'll definitely do it again, and that'll I'll be, be in touch. That'll, that'll be fun. And to everybody here, um, I'll make sure, of course, I'll share, share, share as soon as I have information about the um, Beyond Bells Palsy Summit that's coming because um, you guys, it's going to blow your mind. Uh, Sandra, yes, this will be posted on the feed. It posts on the feed right after. So you can you can check out the rest of our rambling um, there anytime. And also on YouTube because I made a YouTube channel for us too. So thank you so much, Elizabeth. We'll talk to you soon. I'll be in touch. I posted it on the group that is happening. So um and, and I'll send so you the maybe, YouTube maybe, as well. Maybe some people in my group might might just go, oh, I can do this too. Because I, I know yeah. you've had some people on the on the group and they might actually go, oh, I, I'd like to go on an Instagram live 100%. as well. 100%. If anybody wants to come on and tell their story on here, send me a DM. I'd love to have you on. Have, have a, a wonderful day. I'll talk to you Have soon. a great evening, Barbie. Lovely chatting. Thank you. Bye. Love. Bye.